In Austria, a little-known Canadian war hero is finally honored today. Wilf DeMarco was a bomber pilot flying an RAF Lancaster. He was sent to attack Adolf Hitler's mountain retreat in the final days of the war against Nazi Germany. As Abbott Gould explains, his story has been all but forgotten until now. In a small town in Austria, pieces gathered from the wreckage of a Lancaster bomber have been remade into a memorial. One dedicated to the crew members, three of them Canadians, who died when the bomber went down here 70 years ago. Down below is Hitler's famous eagle's nest. It's got eggs in it now, all right. The target was Adolf Hitler's mountain retreat. The Allies feared that's where he planned to make a final stand. We know that Hitler and at least half a million of his elite troops are going to fight to the last in the Berchtesgaden Redoubt. Hundreds of planes were sent to eliminate that possibility. This one, piloted by a Canadian. They'd already dropped their bombs and were about to turn and head for home. So it was very tragic. The bomber was hit. Wilf DeMarco, wounded but still at the controls, kept it aloft to give the other crew members a chance to escape. Three survived, four did not, including DeMarco. It was the RAF's last major bombing mission of the war. We would call him Foxy from the time we can remember. Yeah. Because he was always the smartest one and the best looking one. Mickey and Hap DeMarco still suffer, knowing their brother had survived more than two dozen high-risk missions. So close. He already said that he was on his way home uh, a couple of weeks. Tragic. Closer than that. The war was over. There aren't many pictures out there. Wilf DeMarco was remembered today in his hometown of Timmins, Ontario. And also at a larger event in Austria, where people have never forgotten the day the bomber fell from the sky. They went above and beyond what we expected. Uh, uh, it's, it's been fantastic. Honors for an almost forgotten hero and his crew, who almost made it home. Howard Gould, CBC News, Toronto.